So tonight, I'm going to be uh, making another challenge lock out of a pack lock 90A. Fully operational with a nice pop. But uh, we're going to explore possibly how to change that. Uh, this is going to be the final of the Noxtober 2022 ones that I have to give away. <clears throat> so, um, even though you might see I have a couple left on my thing, that the orange one and the black one, those ones are mine for, uh, hey, good morning, the nurse, little dork. How you doing, brother? So, <clears throat> I mean, I'm going to have to work with whatever uh, pins are inside there, but these are all nice high cuts, so that's going to be able to uh, allow me to make a lot of those trench traps, pretty much almost wherever I choose. You know, I don't want to go directly back to back, particularly there to see what's highest, but we'll see what's inside of here first. But um, just as a general game plan... Let's see, uh, I'm going to re after I take out the, the actual kick cylinder, the actual plug, um, I'm going to take out this grub screw and see if it's as simple as I got one of these from Snake with his logo, and it really is like a lock uh, lockout tag out, so you've, there's zero, you know, shackle pop. So I want to see if it's as simple as removing the uh, the spring in there. You know what I mean? If it's as as simple as removing, you know, that grub screw, taking out the shackle, the spring, putting it back together, and making it have that dead core feeling, then uh, to me that would make it that much more of a challenge lock. So I'd like to explore that tonight. And that's a whole nother, you know, turning your pack lock into a lockout tag out video or you know outside uh perspective so that's kind of cool and then uh for the first time i'm going to be testing out the new dremel kit so these are all new fresh bits that i'm going to be <clears throat> cutting away with and then uh yeah I, i've been urging him you know i'll tell you a little backstory of how the trade occurred it's been about a year and a half now. I've been ordering from Sparrows. On average, I'll say monthly. Because, I mean, there's been times I've ordered two or three times in a month. Just because, whatever, financially, that's how it happened. And then there's other times I didn't order for a month or two. So, on average, uh, you know, I, I probably at least once a month. Never, ever, ever have I ever gotten a Sparrows coin. So, I messaged them about it. I even tried to make a deal with him in a sense of, you know, I don't do safes, but uh, I, uh, I was going to buy one of the 120 or $150, whatever it is, safes, if they were willing to throw in uh, Sparrow's coin to lock it in, you know what I mean, give me motivation to crack the safe, and they straight up email me back, no, <laughs> no explanation point, so I was like, okay, uh, so, <clears throat> I had put out there for a while, I was willing to trade, um, I would turn one of these practice locks into a challenge lock, or if you wanted to trade for one of my uh, body bags or whatever for the uh, Sparrows coin, that's what I was saying, trade out the, the practice lock or a body bag kit for a uh, Sparrows coin. So, the only person to really take me up on that and kind of went back and forth for a minute there was sadistic because he wasn't sure i was serious i wasn't sure i mean he does collect coins so i mean that is kind of a rare commodity there you know and to me i noticed it's um it seems like if you're outside of america you stand a better chance of getting a coin because from what i noticed outside of america it goes from toronto so those are like where the coins are held and if you're in america it comes from the um chicago 
you know, the American distribution side. So, I mean, I don't know what, if that holds true or not. Oh, yeah, no, exactly, Key Man. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's I could build up my own safe little ma manipulation thing or even buy one off of eBay that's just, you know, non-Sparrows branded. You know, you can get one for 30, 40 bucks, depending on how many, you know, levers or, you know, you want to dial. But, yeah, you know, I could have went a cheaper route, but I was willing to do that. And then the thing that really broke it was when they said uh, it's not even big enough to keep your... Uh, weed grinders in i was like <laughs> your weed or your grinders like never mind no sale we're done we're out <laughs> not only do i not get a sparrows coin but it's not even deep enough to hold like you know something that small so <clears throat> but anyway so i'm about to gut this we're gonna see what um type of top pins we're working with hopefully hopefully this is one time when they had the anti-bump key pins in here like uh the one for lockheed so hopefully we'll have some serrations on the key pins too. That'd be awesome. So I could serrate some chambers and not make everything spools. Um, and then again, once everything's apart, I'm going to remove the, uh, I don't know. Hold on. That might be an Allen key as opposed to, nope, I got it. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I do like my, uh, don't be a dick sticker. <laughs> I mean, I don't want that to be, like, a focused point, but nevertheless. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get started. I think this should be interesting. I'm, I'm curious, very curious, if uh, we can make this into a lockout tag out <clears throat> type scenario. Uh, the goal here, we're just basically making a challenge lock, but at the same time, I'm exploring here. Perhaps you can uh, shine a little light on it. I gotta take it off my uh, pack lock chain, you know, my pack lock question real quick, but. Okay, so <clears throat> this is. Uh, one the not ginger sent me when he's nice enough to send me the pins to help me work on getting my blue belt um and you know like any typical i just took that one apart or any normal pad, uh padlock pack lock or otherwise you'd hear the shackle pop so this one i mean it's open i don't know so, I reached out to Snake and asked, you know, what mods did you make when you made it a challenge lock? And he told me it actually came from pack lock like that. It was a factory defect. I believe that. I've had ones that have um, not had drain holes. I've had ones that, I mean, I showed you when I tried to make lady locks, the, um, it literally turned, you know, that far without the actuator popping. You know, and I didn't want to send a challenge lock like that. Or that was Lockheed's, my bad. Lockheed's one. But, uh, I mean, there are, you know, little mistakes made. So, I'd like to see, I'm about to take this apart, if it's just a matter of having a spring there. If that's the difference between these, you know, right now is take that out and take that spring. And then that'll make that that, that dead style shackle. So... That, that's what I'd like to explore. And then beyond that, just making a challenge lock in general with lots of trench traps for um, sadistic lock picker. So that, uh, like I was trying uh, saying in that story there, in the two years of dealing with sparrows, unfortunately, I've never been on a pretty much monthly basis. I've never been lucky enough to receive a sparrows coin. So uh, that's, I traded out. Uh, the last, this is going to be the last of the Noxtober 2022 because <clears throat> this week I did some fast math and the Noxtober is a 13 part 
giveaway kind of thing I do, and it's bi-weekly. So that's 26 weeks where I did some quick math. It's 27 weeks to Halloween. So I have to announce it and start it in a week. So <clears throat> I bought three brand new SMG combo. Oh nice, okay. Nice. Yeah, and also this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna be trying out. This was the uh I Busted this one, the uh, the chuck on this one, making uh, the pins. I made two pins out of the three millimeter, and unfortunately, I over tightened it and popped the chuck. So this is gonna be the first time using the new tack life. So hopefully, that's not gonna be an issue. But uh, yeah, let's explore the shackle spring first before we even um, take this apart and have to set it up and worry about more pieces. And then I was thinking at first for a challenge lock, normally I would have for that first one a much deeper cut. You know what I mean? For the gatekeeper. So this way, you know, that one's overset if you're trying to get past it. But for the trench traps that I'm putting in there, uh, I think we'll be all right. Okay, let's see how this goes. And hopefully it's not anything too different as far as uh, 90A, 90A Pro. Ooh, I already see they got that blue, I'll stop right there, tape on it. So I don't know why they would have that threading tape. There we go. Okay. Is that the ball bearing? There's the spring. Okay. So we got the spring out. Woo! Yeah, I'll get him in a minute with the tweezers. That's all right. That's not the part we're looking for. That's the part we wanted to get rid of. So now. Put the ball bearings back together and try to drop that actuator back in. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to probably do this off camera real quick. Wow, they put a lot of lube on these. I have a feeling if I don't put that back like that. It's not going to be so easy to put in afterwards. So. Okay. Again, sorry. This is part's probably not going to be caught good on camera. I'm trying. Ah. All right, I might not have to try on camera. Now, oh, your trucker's awesome, Mark. That thing's awesome. That's what I'd like to get for one of my things to have a nice chrome with a black burn on there like that. I mean, it's a ball bearing, so I'm assuming it rolled as far as possible. I have all of Trucker's tools right here for the last video. Because they've been coming in handy making the uh the tension turners.
Well, unfortunately, this isn't on the board. Okay, at least on the board, everything up there I kind of coded with my uh, printing mats. So this way, if we ever had to play another game of uh, hot and cold or left, right, center, it'd be a lot easier to find. Oh, it's pretty sure it landed right here. Hmm. All right, we might have to put that on pause for a while and just start messing with the core and then. Definitely need both balls for that to work. And while I do have plenty of extra keys, extra cores even, ball bearings I do not. I do not see how this could have went beyond right here. Let me put this stuff down before I end up losing the rest of it. Here's the actuator. Here's the one ball bearing. Now, let's see if we can find this spring. It's shot way over here. Not like that's necessary. I mean, we're trying to get rid of the spring, but... I think the spring went beyond finding, but we cannot really. Yeah, that's what I thought. Literally, it fell right in front, like on the wooden table. That's why I thought it would roll like this little plastic thing has a little gutter here I'll actually even show it to you so it's like I thought it would have landed you know like that's the chessboard it should have landed right about there and normally all pins and all whatever tend to roll right to the sides wow huh I don't know how that didn't. The only thing I can think of is maybe if it fell with such force that it hit the, the plastic and bounced out. Uh, let me see. If... Let's get up and look at the floor real quick. See this thing, man. What the hell? And I do have to take apart a ninety A Pro, which the ball bearings will come out of when I take it apart, regardless, unlike this one, but. 
problem is that will belong to that lock. I'm not going to, I can't just swap it out and steal it. Man, see, normally I have my metal tray right there. Yes, I got the one ball. It's definitely not in the body. <clears throat> oh, nobody wants a twenty minute video just oh. <laughs> okay. Didn't want to do that. So I don't want to. I could bring in a magnet, but I mean, there's so many things that if I brought in a magnet, <laughs> I don't want to be pulling off a hundred pins from. Yeah, I did. I'm checking in the uh, in the plastic gutter. There is nothing up here. Man. All right. Well, hold on. I guess I'll do a at least a dry run to see if even without the ball bearings for now. How that would fit together with the uh, with the shackle. I'm putting that in backwards. There we go. Okay. So the actuator fell down. Yeah, it uh, it feels like if I had both of the balls that <laughs> ideally it would work. <laughs> All right, I need to find this other ball. Again, I do not know if I bother to take apart an A Pro that they would be the same. I can't believe I can't find the spring or the bearing. I mean, I'd figure it'd be an either or. Well, and that's normally I have two or three pack locks apart. Mm -mm.
Excuse me while I kiss the sky. <laughs> Sorry, it sounds looking all over the floor, so I had to show the irony in that. Life is nothing if not ironic. Okay, well, <clears throat> luckily for us all, I just so happen to have. <clears throat> We have to understand the, uh, um, ah, uh, Michael, thanks for stopping in, man. Good night, brother. <laughs> You'll be listening, so I'll talk a lot, right, no problem. I just so happen to have, uh, let's see, is this it? No, that one's not so bad. I have a not so well working. Yeah, this is the guy. <clears throat> okay, I just so happen this ninety uh, A Pro here's the problem with it. The I guess they put a lot of graphite lube and shit in here. So it's like, look how far you have to turn that. And that's still not, you know, popped. You know, I've showed this before. So I mean, like, you really have to get up in there to do that. So being this needs a good cleaning out to really be functional anyways... How about we take on two projects? <laughs> okay. So we'll be making statistics while fixing this one here. Okay. So for now, I'm going to put everything that belongs with his right up proper over here. Um, hold on, where'd I put that grub screw? Right here, okay. So, now, uh, hopefully we could figure out what's even making this stick. I mean, look at that. That's, that's a lot of no springs. Like, um, nah, where'd I just put trucker lock? Now, okay, here we go. Like, look at how nice, like, springs work on, on his are. You know what I mean? Like, you can... Oh, hey, Lady Locks. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, have a good night. Yeah, this is going to be another one of those five-hour live long streams. <laughs> or long live streams. Yeah, what's up, Kraken? So, we're going to come to the mystery as to why we can turn this that far and not get this open. As well as sacrifice the ball bearing to put together this one for sadistic. And take it from there, I suppose, right? <laughs> I mean, if it's already not working and needs to be investigated, why not donate the parts for signs? You know, or, you know, Frankenstein style, make that one work. Really? You never make it into my lives? I could have sworn you did. That's honestly, that's when, uh, especially when I had under 100 people, and this is the time I normally go live. So, like, between now and, like, oh, not, <laughs> man, cracking, oh, okay. I was saying, between now and, like, 8 in the morning is, like, when I stream, and that seems to be, like, prime time for, like, UK or, like, uh, Germany or Australia, like that seems to be like midday perfect for over there. You know what I mean? Where in America, not not a lot of people are watching at you know three four in the morning. <laughs> Understood, but hey, okay. okay, those ones are over there. Making sure I'm not mixing up keys. In fact, let's get all 
non using today pack lock keys out of here gotcha okay so we're going to duplicate the same experiment like I did just a second ago and try not to shoot the spring across the room and not to drop the balls on the floor. All right. <laughs> okay. I do it so you don't have to. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, I guess I should take that part out first. Hold on. Do -do 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 -do. Don't get ahead of myself. I got all night, morning, afternoon. Oh, you're going to pass it off to Picksmith. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm curious if see what he could do with it. Well, see, that's the trade-off is uh, Lady Locks. You got the 90A. So that small format, man, they're a pain in the ass to fucking pick, dude. Like, they really are. I'd honestly kind of rather really have the seventh pin on the pro. I mean, <laughs> that's just me. It's just these, the small format catches those ball bearings that I'm going to put in there. Or not ball bearings, the dog tag changed because of the diameter way too well, almost. <laughs> now see I originally wanted to use what core was it ah see this is the one with um that's got two beautiful gatekeepers like that's a for pack lock that's a nine cut that's as low as you can go so to get those high pins in the back you would more than likely overset one if not both of those but i'm saving that for the knox box that's that's a special special one but yeah as far as my relationship with uh pack lock i mean <clears throat> just at a for every six i get I, I normally tend to buy them about groups of six because that comes to a certain financial number that's workable and, uh, honestly, like every time two of them have an issue, whether it's a, an engraving issue or like this one, the malfunctioning issue that it doesn't trigger. And I mean, because I'm rebuilding them, it's overlookable. You know what I mean? It's okay. I'm going to take it apart and rebuild everything in it anyways. But I mean, that shouldn't really be the case. And uh, for some reason, I get Snake orders his online. Um, I've never done that. I've always emailed Martha directly and, you know, sent her my images, get a quote, paid it, received them. So he was saying when he looked online, they no longer had the option of black for some reason. No, and that's what I told... Um, cracking uh i was like dude um if Mar martha's gonna make you one or two offers on your pack locks either they're gonna be like hey we'll send you all you know let's just say blue or for argument's sake or we'll send you all blue ones proper and they will you know they'll let you keep the burnt ones and they'll replace them take that option the other option that i took she was like or you can have priority ordering on your next order. Meaning like, okay, so I guess companies like Lockheed Martin and things like that, that order much bigger, whatever, they kind of get a priority. You know, it doesn't take them three weeks to a month to get their image back or get whatever. So I chose that and I chose that. I guess I spent that ticket to get these locks made and i wish i didn't because they're not they're not well made locks yeah that's you gotta email martha specifically 
Okay, so now I'm going to turn push this down. The actuator and the ball is going to pop out. Hopefully, drop out. I'm going to turn it. Jeez, come on. Ah, where the hell is the... I got the tool to fucking turn it. Hold on. What's his name? Sounds a cool one. Um, yeah, Kraken. That's what I was saying. After, after Trucker kind of, unfortunately, now he told me his friend only does this on a once in a while kind of thing. Once I just saw that there's even other options, it was just like, I, I don't know, dude. Like I put those Nirvana locks in. Because I wanted to do him Kurt Cobain's birthday. It was the last week of February. So it's February. I want to say like 24th or 26th. Sorry, I don't know off the top of my head like that. But, um, and then his death was April 8th. So I wanted to do those locks and give them away. And I tried to use the IOU favor. And for these locks, they just came on March 17th. Like literally on my birthday. Like, so from working with them through February to just get this on the day that I was promising to give them away. Ah, no problem, Lady Locks. Thanks for stopping by. Always appreciated. Okay, here's the time where the actuator and I drop my balls at. <laughs> All right, I got to get that spring out of there. That's what we want. Okay, there it is. The spring's out. Now, hold on. Let's see if it's at all possible without even dropping the actuator. Maybe I can just get that ball bearing back in with the, uh, oh, come on, the queen, with the shackle and then lock it back down without taking the rest apart. Wait, they go this way? No, it came out the top. Hmm. I know it goes right up here. And the ball bearing, I mean, I guess I got to take it out, put it in the detent there, and then. <laughs> Ms. Kraken, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we'll try that, let's see. Don't see how that would work, but. I mean, I know why they're so covered in lube, and it's because they're a pain in the ass. Yeah, see, that's not going to work. That has to be in there prior to... Hmm. I don't even know why that's not sitting in there. Like, that should be fitting in there fine. There's nothing blocking that side. Or there shouldn't be.
I don't know how that's not letting that lock in. Yeah, come on. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. All right, so I got both ball bearings in there. But this side's not latching there. Yep, yeah, that is the uh, Max Locks and Loaded. I do not understand how this ball bearing is not engaging in the... I almost want to just put the screw in. And just to see how it, uh, like if it'll stay in there and if it'll bite. I don't get why it's not. Yeah, I'm not leaving this one. Don't worry about that. Hmm. Wow. That's a whole lot of effort to try to turn this into a lockout tag out. I'm just wondering if there's something in that actuator that when I put it, or, I mean, I never took it out, but if by taking out the shackle, if somehow that made the, uh, the actuator turn. Because if that spun, then it might not be taking the, uh, the ball bearings in place, if you know what I mean. So, no. the other actuator, okay. You know, if it's turned like that, the ball bearings go into the sides, they slide in. If it's turned like that, the ball bearings don't fit in. And I think, do not want to start losing these fuckers again. <laughs> I think that may be the problem we're having here. And I don't really know what position the actuator's in to, to turn. Let's see. As a nice little corner turn, let's see if it does anything as far as... Nah, I think I'm gonna have to put them back in with the actuator. Hold on. If I can get this left side the long shackle in, this side will come along, but I just do not know what the shackle direction is what i'm hoping or what the game plan here is let me do this with a screwdriver <clears throat> if 
by turning the actuator little by little and adding pressure to the shackle at a certain point the ball bearings will pop in place that's what i'm hoping let's see there we go and there they went see there we got it i just had it like again i just had to turn the um the actuator because otherwise the ball bearings don't line up okay hmm. all right first let's just find out the answer to the question of the dead core I'll put together the St. Patty's lock and if it uh, opens on a dead core like that, then we know that the, that the trick works and it's the way we could implement it into the other one and then Add a whole nother layer of uh, nastiness to the oh, we have to turn over the key. See that? I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> now I really hope right now as long as I... Ah, that should not have happened. Huh. Oh, hold on. I know why that happened. I forgot to put the other fucking thing in. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Hold on. Was it this way? Yeah, okay. I totally forgot. There we go. I'm not used to taking out the shackles again. See, this is why it's called Let's Learn Locks with Knox. <laughs> so you're learning with me, man. Okay, we got a decent little grip. Should be able to turn that now without the, this flying. Yes, we have a dead core or dead shackle. Hold on, let me put it in place proper. Ah, uh, I forgot. I got a. So many times, open, close, open, close, open, close. I mean, not if you do it right the first time, but what fun is that? I am not pulling out the whole entire thing so that the bull bearings come flying out. That part's not happening. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> well, no, I just didn't want... Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Not quite for the same federal padlock thing, but for the weather, man, I have been dying for the last couple of days to have been nice because I want to go outside with the new Dremel tool and finish making the pin so I can make my challenge lock. Like, I really want some nice outside weather, and it's been particularly today with the ringing in my ears. Uh, it's really dictated a lot sometimes by the weather, unfortunately, and... But today's rain, it just sucked.
I don't get why the hell that screw is now not finding its way past that. Oh, uh, okay. That's an awfully high collar. Can't be right, but it is. How is that screwing in so high up there? Yeah, it's not. I didn't think so. But what the hell is it screwing into now? That's weird. Let's see, does it unscrew? Nah, that's a problem. What the shit is this thing? It's pinched, huh? It looks like. Hmm, looks like it's a good, real good thing. Trucker decided to send me pliers. <laughs> okay, what's going on there? Yeah. Looks like that. He's in the way now, okay. I don't know how or why that's in the way, but let's try it again. Yeah, that does not have a clear path down. All right, so I wonder if the ball bearing's getting in the way of blocking that. That would be a bitch. I don't see. That's clear from here. Oh, I forgot. There you go. I forgot the anti-drill protection or whatever you want to call that. And that's going right back into the same spot. I don't get it. Okay, so it's held together with the key. I just need to put the screw in and hold it together. Okay, let's keep that ball bearing out of the way. Yeah, no, there's something. Is it the angle of that? That's a pain in the ass. I don't know how the hell that's going to reach past that ball bearing. Man. The only time... Uh, hold on. Like that. That's how. Ta-da! Learn with Knox. Turn the key and it drops the thing. That's how you do it. I keep forgetting that. See? I learned... But, you know, honestly, when you look at all those Bosnian build videos and lockpicking lawyer videos, whatever videos, you don't see too many lock reassembly videos. I mean, they're out there. Don't get me wrong, but. Okay. <clears throat> so, I believe I just turned. Let's see. Assuming it will lock. Okay. So. If you were picking this, otherwise normal 90A, it now no longer has a, but it is, ta-da, 90A lockout tag out, hold on, it's key retaining, there you go. 
98, lockout tag out. Get him where he can. I really was going to trick this one out for sadistic. Just because I thought black was kind of, you know, like an idealistic, sadistic color. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no way. Okay, this is all together, right? Right? Okay. So, obviously, any ball bearings that would be right here would have been the one I dropped from the one before. Dude, I can't make this up. Come on, you gotta laugh, dude. Come on, you gotta laugh. You gotta laugh. I'm looking all over the floor. I'm looking all over the tray. You guys are like, it's not on the board. I agreed with you. One's in the shackle. One's sitting right there. <laughs> well, hey, you know. I need the fucking thing, so at least they're there. How about that? I just think that's funny. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm searching the floor. I'm searching all up in the grooves. So that's the one thing. I'll just show off my, my little grooves thing again. It's just like a plastic Tupperware lid or whatever. But I mean, obviously, so if it falls here, normally it rolls into the grooves. You know, like uh, bowling style. So when it wasn't there and it's round, so it should have rolled good. But look at that. Now that you see it's there, how do you not miss the fucking... <laughs> I don't know. I find that funny. <laughs> okay, so. As much as I like, I think I should go with the black. Just because, to me, it's cream sadistic. Yeah. Yeah, we'll save this for somebody else. I do like now. I do understand. It can be done. Pain in the ass, but it can be done. And that adds a lot to the trick to it. Now, <clears throat> what else I kind of just learned. See, that's what I'm saying. Let's learn locks together. So if you've never taken apart a pack lock to this degree, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, it's just you know, pieces. Yeah, this is first time me, first time you. Yeah, not to steal Mr. Miyagi's lines all the time, but literally, Daniel's on. You know, first time me, first time you. And with a little help from you guys saying, hey, don't do it that way or do it this way. And then things I figure out on my own. You know, that's... I enjoy the community spirit, I suppose, I'm trying to say. <laughs> and in a way, we all learn together. And that's the atmosphere I'd like to continue to create. So now with that in mind, uh, actually I should put, I suppose I should put the shackle part back together. And then from there, we'll start with the core mods. So look at this. I'm an hour, about to start an hour and I didn't even start one core mod. But to me, that was an hour of experimentation to find out you can turn a pack lock into a lockout tag out. So that was a well spent hour of lock edumacation. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad about it. <clears throat> Quite the opposite, actually. And I mean, a lot of my you know, education from lock sport has just come from trial and error, you know, from progressive pinning. Oh, that's something else that I forget what video I've done, but uh, I just, someone asked me about progressive pinning and they went straight to sparrows. And while these ones are good in the sense of, I can't really see because of the light, if you just want to see the pins. But again, to me, this was the one I really learned on. Like this one, you can actually see, you know, like actual pick placement. So like this lets you build muscle memory. You know what I mean? Like you get to see every pin that you're underneath as they're rising and then the tension. And, you know, so to me, honestly, the whole 
uh, vertical cutaway, it's worth, you know, it's almost, I don't want to say priceless, but like here's a similar to the Sparrows. I, you know, I had bought these before I was able to afford Sparrows. I uh, doesn't have the same impact as the vertical. I mean, you still get to see them float up as you're picking underneath them, but it's not the same as as physically seeing. And then again, for this one, because uh, of the words, I doubt you'll be able to see, but I have uh, serrated, let's see, right there, serrated, right there is mushroom, right there is spool. So it's like I have different, you know what I mean, uh, you know, different little challenges, whatever you want to call them, going on that I'm trying to see how they interact. And then, like, with the cuts, you know, if, like, the tricks I'm about to do, you need the, the high cut for the trenches. So you can literally see, like, as the key turns and it's set, you pull the key out and you can see how much of the top pin drops past that shear line. And that's how much you're working with, you know, for room for traps. So, I mean, these were just a lot of little things I learned along, uh, along the way that, you know, uh, I guess other people didn't touch on or whatever. So, like, when I'm making my challenge locks or when I'm making, you know, these, I, I have that kind of prior info in mind, you know, where I've practiced, tried to practice the best I could with that, you know, meaning, uh, how serrated feels when being picked as opposed to uh, spools and whatnot. Yeah, and I mean the full the full cutaway, like I said, especially for me in the beginning, just to build the muscle memory. I understand, you know, if you're picking a three millimeter, the spacing is going to be different than if it was like an American lock. But uh, for the most part, it really gets you you know, a real feel for the lock and, you know, that muscle memory of just knowing where the pins are, you know, helps you get a better feel for when they're set. Okay, an actuator down. You know, I'm going to just throw that in there to help keep that in place. One. Okay, I'm going to put the, this one back in place. Now, this one for sadistic, ideally, should have the same, uh, Yeah, that's a hold on sadistic. I just gave uh that's I sent out my second fifty two hundred to my lock. He did such a good job picking the first one. I sent him the second. I can't believe that uh I got I just got in touch with Legless today. He finally hit me back. Um my packages they arrived in uh England uh whatever two weeks ago. But they're still not at his place. So they're hanging out in the post office for two weeks. So I'm a little concerned about that. But no, oh, don't drop out, ball bearing shit. Alright, so as long as, hold on, I just want to, before I go manipulating everything real quick, I just want to make sure, same thing, dead core, and then this way I don't have to mess with, or dead uh, shackle, rather, and then this way I could just go straight with uh, core manipulations. But something happens here when you take the spring out, I mean, again, this is where we're learning, right? Uh, something happens, I've noticed. Hopefully, when I release this, up see the ball bearings trying to fly out. <clears throat> I 
I've got to let it get forward, but at the same time, shit, I don't think the actuator is in a proper place. Oh, actually, it's turning. Okay. There we go. I don't know why that's not falling down. The point is, I need that to fall. Into there, so I could put the screw down in there to keep it. Well, right now, the... The ball bearing's blocking it, so let's see. I, I know what I'd have to do. There's inside, I have to manually turn the. Sorry, right, let me pull this out. Okay, once I get this second thing in place, I am not going to... It's like turned weird. Nope, do not want to do that shit. Come on, Pops Tools. There we go, Pops Tools. Old, not obsolete. <laughs> oh, that's bad. It looks like the ring is slipping off. I did not want that to happen. Off the actuator. All right, hold on. Let me put this body here. There we go. Okay. So that's the last thing I want to do is go break in the actuator. That is not looking good. I don't know why that's getting caught like the way that that is in there. Like it dropped in. Okay. I just hope that's not. This is the part where, let's see. 
I need to turn the actuator. So when I put in the ball bearings, I need to turn, turn. There is a season turn, turn. I shouldn't even sing, I'll probably get a fucking strike. <laughs> Turning the actuator, turning the actuator. Yeah, these balls are not dropping down. Let's see. There's got to be the sweet spot somewhere. I know how I got it last time. Okay. Uh, I pushed this thing through. This guy. That's the other side. This one. You don't want to go losing that one. Okay, I'm trying to judge by the back of that actuator where the... Where it would engage. Oh, I do not want to do that again, that's for sure. I don't know why that has such a problem falling into the space of the actuator. I don't understand it. I mean, is it because I put the, the mounting screw in the other one that this one somehow is not in place? I think, honestly, it has more to do with turning it while that's in there. Let's see if I do it to me. Hmm. 
Yeah, that does not want to move. I do not know. All right, there we go. I do not know why that's not dropping down. And every time I think I hear a click and I got it, it's nope. Understand. I do not know how that's not fucking falling. I can feel the hole for Christ's sakes. Hmm. The only last thing I can think is... I mean, in a way, this is pointless because... Without any mod done to it. I'm seeing if it occur. I could reassemble it as a dead, dead shackle here. All right, I've got two. That's backwards, I Okay. 
Okay, this is where it's going to get sticky. Yeah, it's not all the way closed either. Shit. Alright, so if it's not closed, oh, here we go. I can already see the ball bearing blocking the way. And falling out the chamber. How did it help? Wait a minute. That was the. The screw, not the. Uh, what are you gonna say? Ball bearings are falling out <laughs> through the lock. I got problems. Okay, so that ball bearing has to be blocking something in there that the, or, like I said, I'm not lining up that actuator right. Yeah, it's not sinking down. Talk about a game of patience, holy jeez. So I guess I have to turn this actuator until this whole plug goes in there. Put it in right side. Oh. Ah, see, that's weird. That doesn't. I mean, it feels like almost like this piece itself is not fitting in. So again, that's not lining up. I would say that lock's probably not sinking in as far as it should. Yeah, that's too outside of the lock. Yep, there goes the ball bearing again.
Okay, let's see what to do with this actuator. This thing's really giving me a hard time here. Um, I really don't outside of doing it top down. You know how to put it. I'm pretty sure it's Chris Capoon that uh, he put it all together in one piece with the actuator and just dropped it all in and did that. <clears throat> oh, let me see something on me. The one I just did. Yeah, see this one it's held. I just wanted to check the ball bearing. Yeah. Let me grab a flashlight. Okay, so this one I totally dead shackled. And you can see the ball bearings where it's supposed to be. Okay. So I'm not doing something right. And what is it I'm not doing? I think if I'm not mistaken. I think I have to drop the ball in, put in the shackle. I have to put in this retain. Uh, yeah, I have to put this in a way that it drops in and engages the actuator. And then put the key in, and then that'll make the thing drop. But also, when I was doing it on the other one, maybe I'll loosen this. I don't want it to fall out, but... Yeah, that's all the way out. I don't want that. It's still not below uh, C level. Let's see what I can do with the key. Nah. I want to be careful. I'm, I do not flip that upside down. Oh, hold on. I think I grabbed. There you go. I grabbed the actuator. I got it. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. I think I lost it.
I do not know why they will not go in like that. Well, I mean, probably because the wish call it's in Norway. I gotta be careful not to spin that 180 and send the pins all over the place. But I mean, for the most part, that is like in. I can see where this would go. Where it should be able to go like that. And it satisfied that cut. Yeah, shit, all right. I do not know how to get that last ball buried in right now. Huh. See, but that's the near good and snug. I don't get it. See, while it's in there nice and snug, does this even fit? That's as close to fitting as that seems to get. I don't think that's right. Even I had the ball bearings right there, I know where it is. I'm just trying to line things up to even see how uh um hold on. Oh, on my my picture's getting blurry and messed up. I hope not. I mean, I don't know. I don't have anything else, uh, like, going on in the background or anything that should be, you know, draining or dragging off my, my internet, per se. Uh-oh. Well, on everybody's thing, I'm coming up bad. Pixelated. Yikes. Hmm. I do not want to come out pixelated. Okay, so here's my idea. <laughs> oh, I'm not done for tonight. I'm getting this stock done. But, <clears throat> I think maybe I'll end this one. Uh, I'm going to go grab myself a drink and, uh, Smoke some patience real quick. Right. Okay. Regroup. 15 minutes. Okay. That's uh. I'll be back in 15. 
Thank you. Tuning in. I'll splice these together somehow or make it work. <laughs>